When I first met Bill Collings, it was through a mutual friend. A long time ago when I was young, I used to build boats and Bill Collings was wanting to build a boat. Bill is sharing a shop with another guy at the time over in East Austin and, and, and I come in and I said, who's the guy who wants to know how to build this boat? And he, his head pops up from behind the counter and he goes, come here, come here, come here, come here. And I walk over there and he's cutting a piece of pearl inlay like incredibly accurately and he's not even looking at what he's doing, he's just excited and he's looking at me and we're talking about a boat. And I'm like going, this is, this is cool, this is, this is fun. <laughs> I was born in Midland, Michigan, 1948. I was a baby boomer right after World War II. A little different than today. We didn't have TV, we didn't have television. We were told, you know, we we're to be seen but not to be heard kind of thing. So we had to keep ourselves busy with projects. And I learned that at an early age. Found my solace out working in the garage and and doing my own thing, building cars, motorcycles, whatever it may be, and uh, fooling around. One of the things about Bill is that he's an engineer, uh, a born engineer. His grandfather was with the Dow Chemical for many years, for decades. His uncle was a guy named Alexander Winton, and he is the first guy to build race cars in the United States. He was actually the first guy to build and sell a car commercially in the United States. I don't know that he realized uh, what his ancestry, his grandfather and his great granduncle had contributed really uh, when he was younger. I think it just was in, it's in his DNA. When you find what you like, you know. When I got out of college, I worked for a guy. He was designing conveyor systems. And in my work day, I was supposed to go over to this machine shop. So I go over there and I, I look in this door and it was like, what is all this stuff? You know, one guy's doing this, one's, it's like, what is this place? I said, I want a job here. So I quit that job and started working in that machine shop. At that point, I felt like I was part of something because there was more than one person making something or trying to figure out how to make stuff. I was, it was my education. I mean, that's when I really started to learn something. And after about, five or four or five years in this machine shop, I kept thinking about guitars. And I said, you know, I make this stuff. How do they make these guitars? So part of my early days of making guitars was taking repair in, talking to customers, learning what there was wrong with their instruments, fixing their instrument, and actually thinking about my own instruments the whole time, okay? What did I learn? You know, so it became, on the job training. And the, for the first few guitars I made primarily for the challenge of it. But I knew I was doing what I wanted to do. I think I saw my first Collings guitar probably in the late 80s. I've seen a lot of guitars, even at that point I'd seen a lot of guitars in my life. And I looked at the quality of materials, the workmanship, I've never seen anything that's equal. When I play a Collings guitar, I think of Bill Collings. You know, his guitars have personality. His guitars have a lot of spirit. They respond quickly. The sound is big and the sound is loud. Uh, uh, and the sound is full of energy, just like Bill Collins is. I've seen him ask it of me. I've seen him ask it of, of other people. What is it you like and why do you like it? And he listens, he really listens, and he goes, okay. And that's where he gets ideas, and then he'll think that through, and if it's something he wants to do something with, then he thinks it through completely until he turns it into the musical instruments that he makes. Bill's initial approach to me was like, he goes, listen, we need to find something that you love and you really want to use. That's what it's all about. I respect what he does, and I think he's really great at what he does, as is all the people that work over there. Guitar, mandolin, whether it's a car he's working on, it has to be done right. And it'll be done five times sometimes for the sake of getting it right above everything else. I mean, Bill's very specific and very talented and, uh, about how he makes the guitars. Uh, there are, I don't think there's any Friday guitars that come out of that fact. Actually, I know there's not any Friday guitars. They all work and work really well. Hearing from people, when I'm walking around, I might be, you know, somewhere around the world, 
and somebody will come up to me and say, hey, I play a colleague's guitar. To be that closely associated with Bill and Steve and all the guys in the shop at Collins it makes me really proud. You can see stuff that most people don't see. To make something at the top level of quality that can be done in a production environment has kind of been his challenge and his goal. To do it by himself, it's a piece of cake. But to have all these people put out these things, four product lines to that thing, guitars, acoustic guitars, electric guitars, mandolins, ukulele, I mean, no one else does that because it's just too difficult. But for him, it's just kind of... It's, it's all hard work, but it is total luck at the same time and never really being satisfied. In other words, always trying to make it better. There's never been a moment where it's been a good. In fact, I'm a little worried today. I think I have to get back to work. You know, Bill is such a part of his guitars and uh, his enthusiasm, his energy, his drive to be as good as he can be, uh, you feel that and you hear that in every guitar that comes out of the shop. Approval? Some people may ride on that. I've never had that luxury, okay? It's instant and gone, okay? Next, I may hear it, gotta keep going, gotta keep going. And I think that's what success is, succession. It's over and over and over. And it comes from failure, 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 failure. Knowing that if you stop, you're done.